Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to do the demo and review for Born This Way multi-use complexion powder or foundation powder. Um, I'm gonna start this video before we go into information about the product. I'm just gonna do the demo really quick because I think that'll be fast. Then I'll come back and we'll go over all the deets about the product. So it comes in a cute little compact component. Um, it's 10 grams. Um, I went with the color golden beige. So, cover the mirror here. So it looks like a pan like this, and then underneath is where you can keep your sponge, which I like so you don't jack up the powder. I'm gonna start with my concealer, cause that's how I normally do my makeup. All right, concealer's on. The way I like to do powder foundations is with a flat top brush. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals brush. It's called Precision Face. And then I like to go over the product a couple times with the flat side and just put it on. So this powder is supposed to be blurring. I do think that it is blurring, at least on first application. Um, for me, I do have quite a bit of texture so that's always fun. It's actually a decent color match for me. I wasn't thinking it was going to be, but it looks pretty good. So this is the desired coverage I like. I like medium, I guess like a light medium is how I like my coverage. Um, I could keep going. I find if I keep applying it though, it does start to get really textured here around my mouth and around my nose. Um, if I spray it with a makeup setting spray, that kind of subsides. So. All right, guys, so with the magic of YouTube, I am back with all my makeup on. If you guys are curious, I am still loving my floss gloss. Um, that's what I have on. People always ask if I've got lipstick on. I don't if this is just what my lips look like with lip gloss. So I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can kind of see the finish of this foundation. Um, so let's go over it. It is the Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. It claims to be oil-free. The box also says that there is coconut water to help with moisture levels, alpine rose, which helps improve uh, skin health, and hyaluronic acid, which gives you a smoother, more full appearance. Um, these are the claims. It says immediately after using felt comfortable, after a week of using, it helped control shine and help provided coverage and made my skin look smooth. So that's what the little box here claims. I went with golden beige. Um, so a few things. Again, this is 10 grams. I just want to compare it to a few of my other products. Um, the Aqua Insurance is 9 grams. My Bare Minerals Acne Foundation is 6 sorry, is six grams. Um, and then the Bare Pro is 10 grams. And then I believe the Makeup Forever was close to either nine or 10 grams. As so well. my thoughts about this foundation, I've worn this several times. I always try to wear it before I actually do my demo and my review so I can have good thoughts or bad thoughts about the product. Um, I do like that it doesn't irritate my skin. I don't feel like it gives me breakouts or itches or bothers my skin at all. So that is a pro for me. Um, some cons that may or may not bother you guys, but it bothered me is, uh, this, this foundation I think claims to be 12 hour wear if I remember correctly. Um, I had it on for eight hours and my whole forehead and my chin get really, really shiny to not like separating, so the product doesn't separate it, but it just looks so shiny that it looks like melty almost, and I don't care for that. I mean, eight hours wear of any foundation could cause that to happen, but normally my powder foundations, I stay pretty matte or just natural finish, not super, super shiny, so that was a big bummer for me. Overall texture of the product, 
it is nice. I mean, it's not super velvety, but it's not also like thick or chunky either. Now you guys go so you can see it a little bit better. Um, it just kind of melts into the skin. It definitely does have like a velvety blurring um, technology to the foundation. I will give it that. I just, I like it, but I think it is not my favorite favorite out of everything I've had. The price point of this little beauty is $37. It is 10 grams of product, so I guess that's pretty good, but it's $37, and for me, I felt like it was very comparable to the Aqua Assurance Foundation. Um, like, texture, even, like, color was pretty close. Like, I just feel like they're pretty close as far as formula and texture goes. Um, the Aqua Insurance is hydrating as well, helps blurs, lines, pores, and perfections. This is 14 bucks, this is 37 bucks. Um, and they have close to the same grams. This one is nine, this one's 10, so a gram difference. Um, when it comes to my favorite powder foundations, I'm sh if you guys don't already know, I love powder foundation. That's my daily go-to wear. I don't really like liquid foundation, so I've kind of decided to stop reviewing those unless something really cool comes out. I'm just not gonna review liquid foundations anymore. But if you guys have recommendations for powder foundation, leave them in the comment box below. But some of my favorites are actually the Bare Minerals Pro, which is this powder here. Um, this is my go-to for long wear. Um, I easily get 12 hour wear out of this, no problem, sometimes longer. Um, this is nine grams of product, so they're all very comparable as far as size and weight. My close second, which I don't have because I had to return it because it's too dark for me, is the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte a Blurring Powder Foundation. That would be close second for me. Um, my third is my Blemish Remedy Acne Formulation Powder Foundation. Fourth is the Aqua Insurance. And then fifth is going to be the Born This Way Complexion. I kind of feel like really these are both my, my fourth choice because I feel like the formula is very similar um, and comfortable and does kind of the same thing. I get shiny about eight hours in. So that is why they are getting that ranking is because it is shiny. Um, after eight hours. I don't want to be shiny on the forehead. I mean, I know some people do and they want to be do like dewy and glowy. Um, I only like my highlighter where I want to be highlighted. So when I start getting highlighted on my forehead and my chin where I don't normally put highlighter on, for me, that is a bad sign. I don't like that. Um, do I like this foundation? Yeah. If I didn't already have a bunch of really great powder foundations, I probably would like this better. But for me, because I have so many great staple products such as the Bare Minerals and Makeup Forever, um, it's hard for me to rank this any higher. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. As always, please like this video, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In my description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my website because you can hire me as a makeup artist. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.